Hi, my name is Jay Becker, Senior Applications Engineer at Dunker Motor USA. Today I'm going to introduce the ServoTube XTR25 High Rigidity Actuator and explain how it differs from the ServoTube STA25 actuator. Let's start with the STA25 actuator as a basis for comparison. This actuator is part of the ServoTube family of linear motors and is designed for applications where the thrust is only expected to be in line with the thrust rod. The thrust rod runs through the center of the forcer, which houses the motor coil phases. It is supported by an integral, long-life polymer sleeve bearing. Although this actuator can be used horizontally or vertically, the single sleeve bearing is not designed to carry a radial or side load on the thrust rod beyond the mass of the rod itself. Sometimes there can be a requirement for a push-pull type of motion, but also the need to accommodate a radial or side load on the rod. This can be due to the need for supporting the mass of a load in a horizontal configuration or from some other external force being applied to the rod. Other applications require that the thrust rod not be allowed to rotate within the forcer. In cases like these, we recommend the XTR25 High Rigidity Actuator. This actuator operates just like the STA25, but has two outboard bearings, one on either side of the thrust rod, to provide additional support. There are two types of outboard bearings to choose from, lightweight polymer bearings, or ball bushing type, which can handle higher radial load forces. In conclusion, if your application requires only pure thrust, the STA25 is the way to go. If you require extra side load capacity or need to prevent the thrust rod from rotating, consider the XTR25 high rigidity actuator. For more information on the XTR25 or any other Dunker Motor products, please visit www.dunkermotor.com. Thank you for watching.